my pen. So here we are on the job, on the job site. We thought we were going to be doing some drywall today, but we're not. We're doing a fence, bit of chain link, you get the picture. We start off, we got our godfather post in place, we got our straining post in place, we got our existing fence in place, and we're going to start off with a bit of this. And we call this tension line. Okay. Once again, we're not doing any drywall, we're doing the tension wire. I'll just get doing it now. I'll show you when it is. So, get it as tight as you can now. Still not doing any drywall. We're just tensioning this last one. Tensioning it. Now it's quite a, a monotonous task. So while you're doing it, you might want to think about something else. Whether it's what you're going to buy your mother for Christmas, or you're going to Thanksgiving. Tension there. While we're there, just cut it off. That bulb will be hot, so don't pick it up. So we've tensioned our wire again on the outside. Got a bit of drywall inside. What we've done now is we stretched out our lower chain link and we put in the stretcher bar in the end. Now you want to be careful that you do not, I repeat, do not stand on the chain link. Oh, Sam. What are you doing? Anyway, don't damage the chain link. Don't snag it. We don't do snags. We don't do revisits. We get it right first time. Okay, so we stretch it in. Gonna put it on. The rest will be history. Well, once it happens, anyway. In drywall or fencing. It's good to have the good stretch on your fence. So, what do we got? We got a piece of wood. We got some bolts. And we're going to stretch it. What else do we say? Get on with it.